Rachel decided to play the piano. She could do that already, um, but the £10 that she was given acted as a starting point for her to put some resources together with a T-shirt and some flyers. Uh, and then she went to the local RNI, RNLI bar and played the piano a couple of times every evening uh, and collected money for donations or played to order. It was quite nerve-wracking, especially the first few times because I hadn't really played in front of people before. I bought a promotional t-shirt, um, which I wore, but I did make a spelling mistake on the back. I missed the I out of raising, so it said razzing. <laughs> but I just wore a cardigan all the time. <laughs> it was quite scary, but everyone at the r &I was really fantastic, and all my family came along as well. So it was nice to have some familiar faces. And my family was part of the first lifeboat, lifeboat crew in Port over. Um, 150 years ago. I raised over £1,400. I raised enough money to train a crew member and well, I'm hoping to raise some more money to hopefully kit out the crew member as well. Um, that'll be wellies, helmet, jacket, trousers and life jacket. I think it gave Rachel lots of confidence in her own abilities. Lots of our students don't realise how gifted and talented they are and an opportunity like this really gives them a chance to shine. In Rachel's case she knew she, she, knew she could play the piano but now she's found out that she can really play it really well in public. She's learned how to organise herself and the resources that she needs to run a business. Uh, and she's become far more proactive around school and wants to be involved in more activities. I would definitely recommend it because it's so much fun, but make sure it's something that you love because you're spending a lot of time on it.